Exploring Chiropractic. Uh, this is a show looking at chiropractic schools and anything related to chiropractic as far as students are concerned. So um, I'm Nathan Cashin, kind of the host of these shows, and I'm going to be talking to you tonight with Scott Dodds, who is a student at Logan University in the chiropractic and masters of sports science programs. How's it going, Scott? Good. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks for joining me tonight. Yep, no problem. So it's finals week here at University of Western States, so I don't think we're going to have a lot of people joining us. I was hoping to get, you know, four or five students that could ask their own questions. Because the reason I started this thing is that as I talk with students and, and really as I've been looking at chiropractic for like the past 10 years, you know, I find students don't know much about the different schools. A lot of them think oh, it's chiropractic school, same thing. Yeah. You know, no matter where you go, mm -hmm. and and there's actually lots of people at my school who are talking about transferring to Life West, to Logan, to you know whatever it might be. But I know there's also students at other schools that are talking about transferring to other schools as well. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if people just pick the school that's closest to them, you know, and and that's where they want to go or what. But so I thought we'd just talk about all the different schools. Um, you know, I mean, get, I've got people from Life West set up and, you know, and kind of reaching out and talking to people at other schools as well. So we're going to start with Logan. And uh, But kind of before we do that, I do want to say I'm at University of Western States. You're at uh, Logan University, but we don't represent the schools. We're students there. It's kind of a legal disclaimer in case yeah. anything comes back to bite us. So anything we say is just based on our experience. You know, we don't represent them. This isn't anything official. Um, so I, I wanted to start out looking at the school because this is really cool. Logan has an awesome web page, and I'm going to my screen right now. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see it on your phone. I think you will. Yep. Yeah. So great. I think this is a pretty new web page. At least the last time I looked, probably was a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been probably about two years. Okay, and they've got a virtual tour. So this is what I want to start off with because it's awesome to see the school. And I've been to maybe five schools, and I honestly think that Logan has the best campus. I mean, beautiful, just really gorgeous. What do you think? What's it been like for you? Oh, I mean, the, the school is the school is beautiful. It's, it's well kept. Um, they do a really good job of ma maintaining it. Uh, uh, it, it and, in, and we're in the Midwest, and you know things are really green. Things are really beautiful out here. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's a really nice campus. So that you're looking at there is the Purser Center. Uh, they do that's where they do graduation, uh, do a lot of, and then they rent it out on the weekends for lots of dance com dance competitions, things like that. Oh really? What kind of dance competitions do they do? A lot of like jazz and uh, so a lot of little companies come in there and, uh, and perform. And then they also do like, um, then they actually have like bands and things like that that uh, perform in there. Okay, cool. So, I'm, let's see, that's kind of the parking lot over there. I remember this big quad. I mean, just really nice. Look at that water fountain. I love the bell tower. Yeah. The Does that Logan thing still ring? Yeah, Logan originally was a, a monastery. Uh, so yeah, what is it? What is it with chiropractic schools and like Catholic buildings? So Western States used to know. be a Catholic girls' school. Yeah, so they they kept a lot of the stained glass art in the in the library and the bell tower. It rings every hour. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah. So where's the library? Could we take a peek at that? As we're uh, yeah, it should be in the administration first floor. All right, so let's see administration main entrance. This is so cool that you can just jump around. And, and then I, say, I've got a little pop-up right here. So that's the entrance to the library right there. Click on the circulation desk. Okay, like right. Oh, on the on the pop-up menu. Yeah, on the right okay. side. Yeah, right there. Oh yes. So entrance to the library here. And you can click on the reading there we area. Go. Button and I'll take you closer. That green one right there. Click on that, and I'll take you closer to, to everything. Nice. Yeah, I remember hanging out for a little while when I toured the campus. 
and just loving that that stained glass. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you spend a lot of time in the library, do you find? Um, or are you more of a study-at-home kind of guy? I try to stay at home, but um, when, it, when it gets really busy, I'll go in the library. When, I've get, when finals, finals are weak, I, I'm in the library a lot more, but I usually come home. Yeah, that's what it's like for me, too. Although I find I get a lot more done at home. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, the what else is in the... Uh, Let's see, I want to get out of the library, go to admin ground. I want to go check out the uh, the game room. Uh, yeah, you can check out the game room. That's that's where I dominate everybody in ping pong. Is it? <laughs> oh, let's see, so i got to go admin building, first floor. Yeah. Then I can find the game room. There we go. Yeah, and this again, when I, when I visited, this was brand new. Yeah. So if you... This. I mean, if you look straight straight up, um, you got all those TVs up there. Uh huh. Six of them, um, and you can ch you can have each one playing a different station if you want. Um, and then over on the wall, there's radios for the different TVs, so you can sit on the you know the table and listen to whichever TV you want to. It's pretty cool. So they're portable radios. Yeah, they're portable radios. Like right uh, over here. Right there. Next wow. Right, okay. Right the door. Yeah. So you yeah. Just pick them up and... Kind of like the cool um, drive-in theaters. Yep. Cool. Got some foosball. Got some ping pong. Nice uh, diner seating. Yeah. What this metal is that anything particular? No, it's just, just uh, there. The architecture. Yeah. Air hockey, billiards. So you're the pro ping pong player. Yeah. Cool. We played many, many a game in there, that's for sure. But now, um, you know, now that I'm, now that I'm a lot farther in school, I don't I don't have time to do that anymore. I right? yeah. So I thought this was kind of cool, the anatomy room. Now, I don't believe they have an image of the anatomy lab, do they? No, I looked for it earlier today, and I I couldn't yeah. find it. I'll try to see if I could find it again. But uh. Yeah, I, I looked around, and I I mean, I imagine just with. Um, you know the regulations that go on with that kind of stuff yeah, that you may not be able to have it. But you can go into the amphitheater entrance, which is where they do the um, the dis they the teacher will teach us how to do the dissection. Okay, uh, uh, which building was that in? Is that science and research building? Okay, let's head on over there and pull up the amphitheater entrance. So do the do the anatomy amphitheater. Mm, okay. So if you go right there, right. On that. Yeah. That, so that's where they'll they'll go through. The teacher will go through the the dissection. What we're gonna do uh, for us, and they've got um, up up above. They got a camera that'll shine down, um, and you can watch on the monitors to see exactly what she's doing. So, do they bring a cadaver into here? Yep, they'll bring a cadaver into here and uh, okay. show us um, what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so they'll have like an overhead camera, they'll go through the dissection first. Yep. And then you go in. Is this a, oh, like a webcam right here? Uh, Up on the wall there, or is that? Uh, yeah, that's one of the cameras right there. Okay. Um, so what is, what is the dissection program like? How many, um, you get to do a full dissection? Yeah, we did the we did full body. Everything. In a group of like five people, three or four. Okay. And yeah, how many? Like... Sorry, so you're on a trimester system, right? Yep. Okay, and we're on quarters here. Um, we do. We have ten trimesters, and the first two trimesters we were in the anatomy lab with the sections. Did you say three or two? Two. Two. Okay, so that that's about equal to what we do because we do three quarters. Um, so cool. And I mean, like head to toe, do you do it by section or do you do by section? Kind of by layer. Yeah. Um, the first the first semester we we dealt more with the musculoskeletal lower extremity, upper extremity. Uh huh. And then the se second semester it was all about uh, like internal 
the abdomen, uh, head and neck, uh, brain, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's see. I think I want to get out. I have to say, I think anatomy is one of my favorite things. And I remember the lab, even though we can't see it on here. I remember it being really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, let's see. I think I wanted to go. Let's check out. Actually, where's the field? I want to check out the field and the. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, go to parking lot nine. Parking lot nine. Yeah. And you can check out the ball field as well as the wellness center. Yeah, so you've got, this is pretty much a full baseball field. Yeah. And then a soccer field as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can play, very you can cool. play whatever, whatever you want here. And then back in the back past the ball field, we got a big old amp, uh, pavilion with uh, grills and so we do some of our activities back there. Oh, we I should volleyball check that court. out. There's volleyball courts back there, uh, basketball court. Let me find that. So, does that is that showed on here? Yeah, if you look to the left just a little bit, that little pavilion. Oh, okay, I see. Way in the back, uh, that's the. Um, right back here. Yeah, way back there. Okay. And then right past the soccer goal, right there is. Um, the volleyball courts and stuff. So. Oh, and volleyball. Do you have to play a lot of ultimate frisbee? I don't know what it is, but uh, ultimate frisbee is popular I mean, here. We did uh, first few tries, and it's just gotten really busy, and it gets so hot here during the summer. It's just it's crazy. All right. Uh, hell, the uh, fitness center. Yeah, this this is pretty 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 new. They remodel. I mean, they we've had it for a while, but they remodeled it recently. Okay, it looked uh, a little different than from what I remembered. Yeah, so they they, yeah, basically I mean, they they just opened it up because there's a wall right past the uh, the treadmills there. Right in the middle there. Just, okay. They just opened it up a lot more. And there's actually this is not totally correct either because it's right in front of the treadmills now they have TVs. But like, like hanging from the from the yeah. ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Just like at LA Fitness or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, lo looks like really good equipment. Lots of free weights too. Yeah. Cool. And I notice you got a cool, uh, cool hardwood floor back here. You do any yeah, ballroom dancing yeah. on that? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't ballroom dancing forever. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of given up too. I guess we should say we used to compete together. Actually, we used to compete against each other. It's true. We won't mention you any specific competitions, but <laughs> awesome. All right. Any other highlights of the uh, campus tour we should take a look at? Um, you could look at the, the health centers. Um, okay, so this is y your clinic. Yeah, this is a clinic. This is where I spend majority of my time now. So you're in ninth trimester, so you only have one more to go. Yep, I'll be done in December. And so when do you pretty when do you start kind of full time into the in the clinic? Into the clinic. Well, in uh, trimester seven, we're in the student uh, clinic, so we're treating students and their families. Um, then try eight, nine, and ten. So for a full year, we're in uh, what they call outpatient clinic. Uh -huh. We're treating patients. We bring in our own patients, um, treat them. So, so do you have to go out and kind of recruit your own patients? Yes. Is that uh, kind of expected? Yeah, they expect us to. Uh, there's there's also walk-ins. Uh, just people come walk in. And, um, they do, you know, depending on who's next on the list, we'll get the person who walks in. Yeah. Uh, but I've, I've brought in most of mine. Um, currently, uh, although the CCE is changing everything uh, with numbers and everything, uh, we still currently have numbers that we have to hit uh, for graduation, which aren't, aren't that bad. But um, I've, I've, fortunately, I've already hit all mine, so it's not a big deal. So... If I understand right, because I'm not in clinic yet, but as of right now, you need to have a certain number of adjustments, certain amount of specific treatments. But they're going I mean, to change that to um, competencies. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends. I mean, some schools have already been like that. Um, it depends on what school you're going to. We're still uh, until I don't know when they'll continue to apply numbers. We're required to bring in. Um, 
10 new patients, and what, what that means is not you, you come in once and that's good enough. You have to manage the case. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so you have to do at least 10 of those, um, 200 adjustments in, in the year, a um, certain amount of x-rays taken, physical exams, um, and physical therapy uh, things. So um, fortunately, no, it's, it's really not that hard. Um, and I finished mine just just after the first trimester finished, so okay, it didn't take, so not, it didn't take too long. Not really difficult. But some, I mean, some people it takes them the whole the whole year. Uh, I just kind of worked a little bit harder to get all my stuff done. Yeah, I noticed this table here. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. That's it's an activator table. Activator uh, table. I do I do not do activators, so um, but yeah, that's an activator table. Okay. Um, you do diversivator. You do what? Diversivator. Diversified activator. Oh, I haven't heard that combination before. I just take the activator tool and do diversified with it. Okay. Cool. Um, so I wanted, before we kind of get into some other details that I want to hit, kind of want to back back out and uh, tell me about the city. What's it like living in... St. Louis area because honestly Logan was at the top of my list of schools to go and after visiting after talking with some people I just couldn't see myself living in in St. Louis yeah. how has it been for you uh, I mean, because I came from the west it, not having the mountains kind of sucks but uh, yeah overall uh, we love St. Louis uh, it's got it's got a lot of, a lot of cool stuff uh, Midwest is beautiful nice. Um, there's a lot of family stuff. The, the zoo is free. There's a lot of free stuff that you can do as families. We have a, our zoo is one of the best in the nation. Uh, Second to San Diego, of course. That's where yeah, I'm from. So I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, you know, we have a science museum that's just free. Um, we've got the St. Louis Cardinals here, which, uh, I mean, there's they're, some of the best fans in the nation are definitely here in St. Louis. <laughs> And they're probably a better team than San Diego. I don't know. I don't follow. Yeah. That's baseball, our, right? Our, 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 uh, are really good, and uh, their fans are are loyal. And uh, so the city is really nice. So um, Chesterfield is where the school is. It's on, in the West County. Um, it's one of the nicer, richer areas because um, you get up north and the other side of the river in St. Louis, and it's a uh, one of the dangerous cities in, in the nation. So mm, okay. stay away from those areas. It's not yeah, a definitely got different neighborhoods well. like like everywhere. Now you are you're very close to. Is it Mizzou? Which university are you close? Yeah, we're about a, we're about an hour and a half away from Mizzou. Okay, but then there's another one within I want to say 10, 15 minutes that you work with in the master's program, or at least you used to. Um, we work a little bit with Missouri Baptist. That's what it was. University, but we mainly we work with uh, Mizzou now. Okay, so tell me about the master's program. So I'm I'm looking now in the biofreeze, um, yeah, sports science facility. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the master's in sports science is uh, continually, continually growing. It's growing all the time. Um, so it's been it's been really really good. So. That's that's kind of like a, a separate clinic uh, from the other clinic. We do a lot with uh, a lot of athletes. Uh, so you're not going to bring in athletes. your, sorry, you're not going to bring in just your average um, patient I mean, in here. No, I, we Usually. definitely can't. It, it's available to us. Okay. Um, so because the Biofreeze clinic, which is right there, the sports clinic, and the other clinic, they share hallways and share right. pretty much everything. We could bring patients in there. But it is uh, specifically for um, the the interns that work in that clinic. Um, so we do a lot. We deal right now. We're dealing a lot with the uh, track athletes, um, a lot of high school track athletes. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with an American record holder in the hammer throw um, and uh, shot put, uh, helping her with her training and uh, recovering from little issues that she had and um, so we've been able to work with a lot of a lot of big people we've had several of uh, the uh, 
St. Louis Cardinals players come in for um, to use certain aspects of the clinic, um, including our x-ray in uh, ultrasound department. Um, because one of the, the chiropractor for the St. Louis, Car- St. Louis Cardinals is one of our teachers. Okay. Um, and then the, the director of the sports science program is Dr. Lanny Nelson, who was the uh, chiropractor for Brigham Young University for so many years and is currently a chiropractor for, for Mizzou. Um, so now I understand he's announced his retirement. Uh, yeah, he's heading back to Utah to open up shop. Um, again, and, and open up clinics. His his son is here at, at Logan, um, so he'll be done a semester after me in April. So they're gonna. Open oh, okay, up. and gonna go in business together, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, I know Lanny very well. I've known him for a number of years and and visited with him a lot. And when I came to the school, it was on a weekend, I think, when I came to Logan to visit, and he took me around and we were we hung out here. I think he gave me a cold laser therapy right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably sat in that that bench right there and had it on my foot so yeah oh, it's, a definitely than, it's a little bit different than when you when you first came here because they remodeled this about a year and a half ago okay um, so those offices back in the back where you were looking is uh, that's all new that's where dr. Nelson's office is um, okay. so we just got a lot of different um, different things in here a lot of new tech new new things are pretty cool and when you get a, you get a lot of experiences with a lot of people Every Tuesday we go to Mizzou. Um, Dr. Nelson takes kids to Mizzou and to treat the athletes down there, um, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Really, just a beautiful camp. Um, sometimes I, when I look at that, I kind of wonder whether I should change it. So, what's what's been your interest in the master's program? What was your uh, original intent? Original intent was uh, possibly working for university um, to be be their team chiropractor. I've kind of shied away away from that a little bit just because my model and where I want to practice is small town, uh, so I won't be working with the high elite athletes. I still definitely want to work with athletes, but it will be more the junior college, high school uh, type kids. Um, but I just wanted because I grew up playing sports. Uh, that's what I did my whole life. Um, the reason I got it, wanted to get into chiropractic was because I was helped through sports with, from a chiropractor. Um, it's kind of what I want to do. Um, but uh, so that's that's for me. That's how it was. But uh, yeah, we have a lot a lot of people who are in the, the masters of sports science. We have uh, people who are going to work for a lot of the different um, SEC schools to be chiropractors uh, for them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I, th- I think my desire was kind of the same. Is that I was, you know, never a, a really great athlete. I played soccer, did track, did cross country, um, but as we mentioned, used to dance, and so got really interested in kind of the uh, athletic training aspect of it. Mm-hmm. And so, Western States and Logan are the only two schools that offer these masters in sports medicine. Of course, at any school you can get the CCSP, which is a uh, Certified Chiropractic chiropractic Sports Physician. physician. Okay. And um, so I want to come back to that, but the feeling that I got from Logan, and I'd like your kind of your input on this, is it, it kind of turned me off that it was working with, you know, the football players at a big university and and they mentioned, you know, working with a lot of pro baseball. And like you said, I don't really want to work with the pro athletes. I kind of want to work more with weekend warrior types, um, maybe youth. And I kind of changed my mind when I visited the Olympic Training Center uh, a couple months ago. In that, you know, Olympic athletes, they're not, they don't have million dollar contracts. They're still trying to make it. You know they're they're going to work with you maybe a little bit better, but I don't know. So what do you think? Is is your program focused on that that pro sports? Oh no no, absolutely not. Uh, I mean we do a, a lot of a lot of high school. A lot of the people that go into that that sports clinic are weekend warriors, people who just have extremity issues, knees, shoulders, ankles. Um, so no, it's not it's not specifically for the pros for the big the big time. Uh, certain people want to do that, and uh, and they have a great uh, avenue for that because 
Dr. Nelson is has got a lot of connections, so they it it is easy for them to, to go that route because he can he can call his friends and get them positions. But no, I mean there's a lot of us who who are going to go to junior colleges and deal more with um, other types of athletes. I do remember that one thing from Dr. Nelson uh, was just that he seemed to fight for you know for his students. He would just he works incredibly hard. I think I remember he didn't tell me this, but I'm sure someone I met at the school mentioned how he worked as I think a janitor during the night as he was going to chiropractic school and graduated without debt. And you kind of get that from him. He's he kind of is nonstop and just mm -hmm. yeah. got his hand in so many different projects. Mm -hmm. So speaking of working while in school, have you? given that a shot or have you just relied on you know student loans um no i mean i i've worked here and there uh, on campus not not much uh, i do know a lot of people who have and uh it's been okay uh it's just i mean it's so hard when you've got 30 plus credit hours um and i'd rather spend time with my family um so i haven't uh worked as much but i do know a lot of people who have worked um and and it's been fine and uh, for them, and it's worked out just just fine. So you've had some just on campus student jobs. Yeah, yeah, here and there. I've just uh, right now in the clinic, I'm one of the the group leaders, so I'm basically in charge of all the other interns in the clinic, uh, making sure that what they're doing is is right, and making sure notes are good, uh, the, the notes on their patients and things like that. And I get paid for that. Um, so I mean, it's it's work study, so it just takes off my loans. That's pretty cool. So you have you have upper trimester students that are kind of supervising in the clinic. Yeah. Is that kind of what you're doing? Yeah. I don't we think we have that. I, we we just work underneath the clinicians and kind of do what they want us to do, pretty much. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we have I don't know four or five, you know, graduated DCs that kind of run the clinic. So that's that's an interesting aspect to that. Yeah, we have four four operating clinics, and so. We have several different areas we can go. Um, are those all on campus, or do you have some off-campus clinics? No, no. The only uh, I guess we have technically have five clinics with the BioFreeze clinic, the sports clinic. Uh, now the other three are off, off one south, and then there's two that are more north. So in the community, kind of yeah. reaching out to get other people come in. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So what is what is family life like for you? It's good. I mean, uh, St. Louis is a great place to have a family. Uh, like I said, we've got a lot of stuff that the the city provides that are free for uh, for families, and so the zoo is amazing. And to not have to pay is really nice. They've got uh, botanical gardens, science museum, uh, history museum. Uh, the original World's Fair was here in like 1903 or something like that. So uh, it's it's a really really big park that offers a lot of a lot of uh, stuff and so um, there's always something to do. A lot of parks, a lot, a lot of parks, and so um, family life is really good here. Do you uh, practice a lot on your wife, or does she not allow you to do that? I hear that's no, she, that's a big no, deal she, with married students. No, she uh, she she likes me work on her at least once a day. <laughs> really, that's awesome. No, not not that often, but she likes to have it probably two or three times a week. She's open to it. Good. And how about the kids? Um, the youngest I treated, I mean, so my oldest is two and a half. I, uh, been treating him since he was probably uh, a couple weeks old. Um, he doesn't always love it, but, uh, but it gives me practice on, on a little kid. And then, uh, this new one that's three and a half weeks old. I, I treated him for the first time when he was probably, uh, two days old. Wow. Yeah. Really young. I've been reading a lot lately about uh, kind of different feelings out there about treating children and and the worries about their bones not being hardly developed at all and I don't know it's it's well, interesting I'm not too yeah. concerned about it uh, well I mean I don't I don't do any uh, any high velocity thrusting it's more um, with the upper cervicals you know C1 atlas it's more of a vibration uh, rather than a thrust. Um, and then with uh, the other stuff, it's more soft tissue, um, you know, 
just different techniques that I've learned uh, along the way. Logan is uh, was founded on Logan Basic, uh, which is a high, you know, just low force technique, uh, which uh, uses the sacred tuberous ligament to help align the spine. Um, it's 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 a really good technique that is uh, helps a lot of people, specifically pregnant people uh, and babies. And so that's what I've done with my kids. So what other techniques are, are taught? I th so I understand Logan Basic and, and Diversified are kind of the main bread and yeah. butter kind of techniques. Yeah, those are the two that are, are required um, by the university to be taken. Um, then beyond that, um, we're required in try seven, eight, and nine to take at least one um, other technique. Uh, so we offer, um, let's see, we offer uh, SOT, uh, Thompson technique, Cox flexion distraction, activator, uh, Graston, um, Graston and soft tissue. Let's see what else. Um, um, upper cervical. Um, what else? Uh, ART. Uh, and there's there's a couple others I can't remember right now. Oh, uh, applied kinesiology, basic. Um, advanced, diversified. Uh, there's a couple others, and then there's all the seminars that that people go to. So all of those that you listed are actually electives you take during, like, in the curriculum. Yeah, there. I mean, you have to take at least one um, for for tries seven, eight, and nine, and then you can take one weekend course during seven, eight, and nine. Um, so my first in try seven, I took Thompson and Graston. And last trimester, I took Cox flexion distraction, and currently I'm taking the SOT. And then you've got all the seminars that you can take. Yeah. And they, you can go somewhere. They come to the school, and they'll do seminars um, there. No, most of them are around, around in in the area, not actually at the school. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to seek them out on your own and, and go out. Yep. Awesome. Very cool. Well, I I'm kind of running out of questions. Uh, I think that covers a big chunk of it. Well, actually, let me bring this up. Because um, I think people are trying to get away from this, but there's the straights versus mixers kind of continuum. Yeah. And of course, a couple schools like Western States, um, I think National or I think it's National, you know, claim to be evidence-based you know, not the straight, and then at the other end, maybe you've got Sherman and Life. Um, I mean, where would you say you fall? I think a lot of the schools now say, you know, we're evidence-based, all that stuff, but where do you think it falls? Um, we're, we're more in the middle, but we're leaning more towards uh, how Western States is in becoming evidence-based. Um, I know there's some things possibly in the works at Logan to do some, some things that are different. Um, obviously, that's not done yet. Oh, I think I'm kind of losing you right now. Froze up. Well, I can't hear you can't see you, so I'm just going to talk a little bit and hopefully you come back. Uh, but I did just notice, went to get a drink of water and I've got my Logan paraphernalia here uh, from my visit. I actually think this is a free cup from, you know, them coming to my school and doing their college thing. And I think I have somewhere, hang on just a sec. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> this is also from my visit to Logan. I've got my perfectly adjusted uh, Logan College of Chiropractic. This is before they became a university. And on the back has a, a spine. Of course, I cut it up because I use this for palpation. Um, but yeah, that is another thing I got. That one, people get confused because the spine is sideways and looks like you're scoliotic at it. I get chiropractors and athletic trainers complaining about that. But anyway, got my paraphernalia from Logan, but I didn't end up going. Uh, but it is just a gorgeous school, really great program. I love the master's program that they're doing there. It's really well, it's continually growing, and beautiful buildings, beautiful facilities, 
And I think we're getting Scott back here in just a second. Sorry, bud. Hey, there you are. That's all right. I'm filling in the space. I um, I was sharing my paraphernalia from Logan that I got when I visited. <laughs> hey, nice cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, just so so from straights to mixers, you think you fall in the middle, but you're kind of leaning towards a little more evidence-based focus. Yeah. Yeah. That would um, be correct. And and what's your plans for practicing? Are you going to stay in the area? Are you going to move back to Utah? Um, no. I um, next actually next weekend I'll be headed to back to Idaho. Um, to talk with uh, a doctor that uh, I've been in contact with, who wants me to be in his uh, in his office. Um, he plans on retiring within the next couple of years, so I'll be he would like me to purchase his practice. Um, so it's in my hometown, so I'll be um, going there. Hopefully, we'll start talking contract and things like that. So I'll be an independent contractor, um, just leasing space uh, that he's not using. He's got a whole side of the building he's not even using, so. I'll, Use that side and, uh, cool. and then buy him out when he's uh, when he's ready to leave. So that's your hometown. Is that where uh, your wife's from as well? No, she's from Kansas City, so we'll be moving oh, that's right. away from from her family, but uh, closer to mine and closer to the. I mean, her most of her siblings live in Utah, so we'll be closer to everybody else. Cool. Um, so you mentioned you kind of plan on working with sports. Do you have any other I uh, kind of goals for the? Pro that you want to build? Um, I would like to, you know, I, I'll take I'll take anybody in my practice. I'm uh, happy to will. I'm more than willing to work on babies, on you know, geriatrics. Uh, so no, not really. No, no niches I want to hit. Um, I'll really work on anybody. I, I would like to be a, a family doctor. You know, for a lot of people. Um, I mean, I, I've got future plans and things I want to do. Uh, possibly open up more satellite clinics and things like that, but uh, we'll see. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again for meeting with me tonight. I got to no get problem. back to studying for gross anatomy oh, and, uh, and our adjustive skills tomorrow. But um, for those of you watching, check out exploringchiropractic.com or the Google um, community, which right now is student uh, chiropractic students to keep up with what's going on and what other schools we're going to be talking about. I'm thinking about someone from Life West coming up soon, uh, as well as Palmer and possibly National um, University as well. So exploringchiropractic.com, and there's a Facebook group. There's a Google community. It's probably the best place to keep tabs on what's going on. So thanks a lot, uh, Scott, for joining me and sharing Logan University with us. No problem. Thanks, Nathan.